My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent, teaching instructor with IRS. Welcome to my YouTube uh, it's a YouTube station. It's the home of the five minute or less uh, video. I need to get all the stuff out of here so you don't see all my goodies. I've been doing this for uh, how long I've been doing this? I've been doing this work for 50 years. I worked at IRS for 10. I've been in private practice for 40 years. That's IRS tax defense. Um, I'm a national expert in IRS resolution matters. I don't need a fancy coat. I don't. I do have a fancy office across the street. I just shoot my videos at home because I'm comfortable sitting in my shorts and Actually, that window's open, enjoying the Florida breezes as they come in. I drink my Gatorade while I'm sitting here. You want what's in my head, not the clothes that I wear. So, you know, um, I, I, I have a whole team of former IRS agents. If you want to see me in a coat and tie, go to 777irs.com, 777irs.com. You'll see all my national interviews uh, there. And... Um, you will see my cast of characters, my former IRS agents, and uh, you can get all the information you need about us. Anyway, you know, I want to talk to you today about working at IRS so long. People have this inherent fear about the Internal Revenue Service when they owe tax debt, and really you don't need to do that. A lot of companies send out notices and salesmen get on the phone telling you all about a bunch of crap. But at the end of the day, I've worked over 10,000 cases and you just don't need to fear IRS as much as you really think that you need to. Um, you know, as a former agent, I will tell you some agents are kind of assholes, but most of them really aren't. Most of them are will kind of give you a lot of leeway. But it's a matter of knowing the system and working the system that if you understand it, it just doesn't cause, uh, cause the fear. Here's just what you have to know. This is important what you guys have to know about this. IRS, when you owe an IRS debt, IRS just wants you to acknowledge the debt and do something about it. That's it. The, what happens when people don't respond to IRS and you don't respond to letters and that's when IRS causes the fear. And you don't need to do that. This is an example. IRS sends out a CP50514, a 50, CP501, CP503, CP504, CP1058. And when they do those, their each letter gets worse and worse and worse. And at the end of those, they are going to levy and they are going to take your wages. Why? You haven't picked up the phone to call them to take care of the problem. And if you haven't, and IRS's angst is getting worked up and up and up and up, all because you would not take care of the problem. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Marie, can you lower the TV, please? Everybody on YouTube all across the nation can hear that. Thank you. Sometimes the TV's a little loud. So anyway, this is what you have to do. You have to have an exit strategy in mind. And what an exit strategy is is simple. How is the case going to go ahead and resolve itself? That's it. IRS resolves these cases in one of three ways, okay? Um, they resolve their case by either putting you into a currently non-collectible by uh, getting you in a part pay agreement or you may want to file an offer and compromise. Those are the three ways you're going to resolve your IRS debt and your current IRS financial statement determines how you're going to resolve your case. If you don't know about it, that's when you hire somebody. If you don't know a lot of money, call the IRS, give them a financial statement, they'll probably put you in a collectible. But if you owe sizable money, you're wasting your time doing this yourself. Because if you owe money, IRS is going to pull the, your financial statement apart and they are going to dig a little more or you're going to be paying a lot more than you think. So that's how that works. So for those who don't owe a lot of money, IRS is usually just going to put you in currently non-collectible, which means or it's a hardship. You don't have to pay for a number of years, but penalties and interest still run. And if you owe a lot more money, you do need a lot more skill. Um, like to help you negotiate that debt and so IRS doesn't take too much out of your check. That's what we're really good at. Anyway, at the end of the day, 
um, you're welcome to hire us but give me a subscription no matter what subscriptions are really good for me because YouTube says they are by the way the reason everybody asks you for subscriptions YouTube values us on subscriptions just so you know so the more subscriptions the higher we bump up like the standing so that would be very helpful ask me questions you want um, I, I try to get back to most of them I can't get to all of them you're welcome to send me an email I'll get you an answer like I said we're open for representation you know, just use your own account whoever you think floats your boat anyway thank you for listening you can make a calendar appointment up there and we're here for you if you want another question you want me to do a YouTube fire it up let me see what you say let me see if I can do it thank you for the subscription